uh, Derek seem to have a lot more confidence in your shot. And is that something that has just come with that level of experience? And like Coach talked about, the green light that you know there are areas in your situation that you're going to be a lot better at, have a better look at, and now you have that confidence and that assertiveness to shoot in those types of situations. Um, I just credit it to my teammates, just you know, uh, put me in the right spots, you know, hit shots, and uh, just have the confidence in me to make the shots. Andy, you guys are still kind of learning to play together, and through the non-conference, you had some tough losses and things, but to start Big Ten three and zero and close out some close games like you have, how much confidence does that give you, and, and what's kind of the mood around the team right now? Well, the mood around the team is you know hasn't changed you know throughout the year. Uh, you know, we always talking to each other, you know, encouraging each other in practice. And, um, you know, just start the Big Ten 3 and uh, you know, just a, another level of confidence boosting our confidence going to uh, Big Ten play. You've been on the court with uh, Spike a little bit more lately. What, what do you like about that situation? And maybe what are the couple of things that you've learned the most from him so far this year? Um, I say from Spike, uh, he taught me a lot about, uh, you know, managing my dribble. You know, just you know, finding ways to get guys open shots. And, uh, I wouldn't say it's anything I don't like about being on the floor. Mark, Derek, yeah, you see the difference in Glenn's game in the last couple of games. The numbers look good, and he's getting more shots. And Coach Bieler and said that there's a difference in how much he's being used. Um, I think as a team, ourselves, we uh, take it upon ourselves to know uh, we need to get him more shots. So um, I mean, you know, we we have you know a lot of confidence in making the shots. So uh, it just credits to us uh, just knowing that he needs the ball. You know. Shots. When you see some of the shots that he hit in Nebraska, I mean, you can see that he can play on a higher level than you've seen properly. Uh, I knew he could play at a high level. You know, coming in, uh, you know, he just proved me uh, right. You know, each pass that. Right in the back, the front over here on your left. With the, uh, we've always kind of talked to you about you know you being more comfortable out there and and you finding that that comfort zone, but. Have you started to find that kind of guys are more comfortable with you, even in terms of players being able to anticipate what you are going to do with the ball as the point guard? Um, well, we hang out, you know, a lot off the floor, so uh, the chemistry was always there. You know, we just need to go out there and play together. So uh, I think, you know, the guys you know, on the floor just get used to me uh, and my tendencies. Those tendencies, uh, in terms of you leading other teams, how long does that typically take? You know, is it just different team, different time? It just does all kind of things. I mean, I can't really credit to anything. I think uh, just you know what, what the team needs at the you know moment. I think you know, I just try to step up and do that. You told me after the Minnesota game the game was slowing down for you. Can you give me an example? Give you a little bit more specific on how it slowed down and when it kind of Well, I could say you know uh, at the beginning of the year I was playing you know very very fast and uh, you know we each you know passing day of practice and talking with the coaches and. Uh, you know, learning that pace is a big thing in you know, college basketball. So um, just sitting down watching film, and uh, it just helped me a lot. You know, the game was slowing down for me. Kyle? Big emphasis uh, for your dad, your senior year at Chandler Park, was forcing you to shoot more and score more and have the ball in late game situations. Did you kind of hear him uh, in your head a little bit at Nebraska, that, that final stretch? Um, not really. Uh, you know, to recap that last play, uh, you know, it was kind of a win-win situation with Glenn, you know, burning to the basket and uh, me, you know, making the live. So, uh, you know, it really uh, a win-win situation. So I just laid the ball there for the game. So to follow up, uh, how beneficial was that for you maybe to be more aggressive, to be kind of prodded and hoped to, to do that, how that's kind of brought with you to Ann Arbor? Um, well, I've always been a confident guy, and uh, I think that's just, you know, helped me, um, you know, with the rough stretches I've been doing. Um, I mean, you know, just the win Got uh, time for two more. We'll go with Jennifer and then Andy. <laughs> what kind of confidence builder was the win at Nebraska as far as for a young team early on in the Big Ten schedule on the road and, and eking it out in your mind? And how can you guys build from it and go forward? Um, I would say, you know, just us being a young team, you knowing that we can go on the road and uh, pull out a tough win like that. Uh, in the one possession game, uh, just you know, boosting our confidence, knowing that uh, you know each one of us is out there playing for each other, and uh, you know, just looking to win. One quick follow up: yep. with the schedule that you guys have coming up, I mean, you've had four days off now. You've got Penn State, but then after that, you you've got Wisconsin and you host Iowa, and then you go to Michigan State. What is that stretch like to just look down the road and kind of see 
see the real meat of your schedule coming up right in front of you. You've got three games and eight days there. Um, I mean, I think, you know, it just, you know, brings a sense of urgency. It's just urgency to practice. Uh, you know, each day is going to be very competitive. Um, you know, we're going to prepare the best way you know how and uh, just come out and ask you. Maybe. Speaking of kind of closing one out on the, on the road, uh, you guys went on the road early, kind of you know, dropped a few a few games at Iowa State. Duke didn't play great. Um, but what, what do those experiences kind of do for you in terms of learning how to play on the road? Because now you've got two nice road games in the Big Ten already. Um, you know, early road games uh, just helped me as a, a freshman, just knowing uh, the type of arenas we're playing, uh, the lo how loud it could be, and, um, and just diversity you have to face, you know, uh, you know, throughout the season, you know, playing a role. So uh, the early tough role games really helped uh, going to be play. Thank you. Dude.